Well, here we go again. It's match day. It's Wimbledon versus Sunderland. And Sunderland can get another three points today with another great away performance. I'm going to go for a score prediction of Wimbledon 1, Sunderland 3. A fantastic victory again for all those wonderful travelling fans going all the way down to Wimbledon today. Let's get you three points. Let's get you home safe and sound. And let's have a great day down on the travels. Up a couple of these teams that's above us slip up today. Peterborough, Portsmouth and Barnsley all away just like Sunderland. Who's going to crack first? Let's hope Sunderland can win this match today and climb above one of those teams above who might just falter. But I've been for me fucking six mile run. Now it's time for a good fucking drink. Here I am, back in my mother's fucking loft. It's half time. It's the Wombles of Wimbledon 1, soft Sunderland nil. Sunderland are getting beat off Wimbledon AFC. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Wimbledon for fuck's sake, man. I knew this was going to happen at one point. I was hoping it wasn't going to happen. And I hope Ross takes these fuckers in at half time and sorts them out. Because I knew this was going to happen at one point. These players were going to come out and take it like as if they fucking already have won the match. You cannot take any side in any division fucking lightly. All these sides will fucking give it to you big style if you sit back and expect a victory. You have to go out there and earn a fucking victory. So far in this first half, we've been bullied like fuck against Wimbledon FC. They've fucking bullied us all over the park. We're letting them get crosses in all over the place. The goal that they've scored is a Pickford... Pickford? Pickford? Or oh, fucking nada we call them. But never mind, the cross came over. Piss easy. Love let them cross the ball over. We've got to stop these crosses coming across. We've got to stop getting involved in the fucking fight. A fucking fight. Wimbledon AFC will fucking love a battle. They want a battle. They want a fucking fist fight. They want to get stuck in. They will love this. We haven't got to play them at their game. Get the ball down, start passing the ball. That is our game. We play great football. Play football. Don't do it in a fucking boxing match. Don't just sit there, bend over and take up the fucking arse. We have to to come back in the second half and win this match. Ross, the boss, is the man to sort these players out. He will sort them out at half time. Get rid of this fucking... complacency. We don't deserve to win anything unless we put the battle, the fight and the good football in and take it to these teams and beat them convincingly. Play the wonderful game, the wonderful game of football. Like you know we've played, we've played beautiful football against Scunthorpe, pretty good against Gillingham. We did all right against Charlton, okay against Wimbledon. We Wimbledon, Luton, we can't sit back and expect to win all these matches because we've played some good football and we've won two matches convincingly in the last two games. Uh, we have to come out and play football. Russ needs to sit down with these players and make them earn their corn. They need to earn the right to win this match. Come out and fight for those fans, those fantastic fans that have travelled down to Wimbledon and Deer support this club. Wimbledon, fuck's sake, man. Wimbledon are beaten Sunderland. Wimbledon, they don't even own their own football ground. Chelsea own Wimbledon football ground. It's where Chelsea women play. I mean, I mean, Wimbledon, we have to come out in the second half and beat Wimbledon and I believe Ross can sort this team out and have them play better football second half, come out and win 3-1, like I said, earlier on the day, we'll win 3-1. Hopefully by the time I've had a couple more pints and the next 45 minutes is over, I'll be a lot happier than this. Yes! Get in, Catamore! Catamore scored! Oh my god! Get in, Catamore! Whoa! Fantastic! One's a peach! I see the linesman's trying to give him offside? The linesman trying to give Catamore offside? Fuck off! Oh! 
Are the referees give it? Yes. One to Peach. Catamore scored. Fuck the linesman. The referees give the goal. Tap in for Catamore. Nice one. Catamore. Catamore, you're back this season. Get in. McGee Hawks come on and we've been a better side since then. Let's go on to win this match now by 2 or 3 1. Come on. Yeah, Oviedo's on now. Oviedo and McGee on. We can take this match. Oviedo's on now. Please, Oviedo's fit. He's a fantastic player, fantastic professional. Oviedo, you are absolutely amazing. I hope you stay swimming for the full season because you are both a class above all these and they've won. Absolutely brilliant. 15 minutes to go. I'm sure we're going to get a winner. We must get a winner in this match. Four points. Two away games, four points is a good return, but I'd love to have six points. I'm being greedy. I won six. I won six. Please give me six. Well, we're 20 minutes to go with Sunderland 1, Wimbledon 1. Peterborough are pissing their match away at 4 0. Barnsley have just equalised, so it's 2 2. And Portsmouth are 0 0. It's our chance now to jump up two places. If we can win this match today, we can jump up two places. Pickford, Pickard has just hit the post for Wimbledon, so it's touch and go. But we need to dominate the rest of the last 20 minutes and get another goal and win this match 2 or 3 1 and go into second or third place. We can do it. I believe we can do this. Come on, Sunderland! Corner of Sunderland, come on! to score but I bet I don't fucking score fucking heaven lean 2-0 2-0 15 minutes to go fuck and now with Madger nodding it down to Gooch Eric Mill and an athletic three ball lost into the fucking heaven what fucking Villa's let a goal against Redden Redden has just scored last fucking minute fuck off Redden Steve Bruce's Villa. I hope it don't go up. Sorry, Villa fans, but it's pissed me off. Taken down the line. Bounces back here for Oshilaja. Back again to Tom King, the goalkeeper. And King pushing it out. One minute ago. And Sunderland at 2 1 up. This has made my weekend. Words were trying to get on the end of it. Headed away by Love. Words were back in again. It would possibly break for Get it away. Goes down. Free kick right on the edge of the. Oh, fuck! 
Oh. One minute ago, Wimbledon's got a free kick on the edge of the box. Lovers give a free kick away. Keep this away. We'll win the match. We'll go in second place. Wimbledon's last chance of a point. Ball placed by Joe Piggott. Wordsworth over it as well. What he's going to do is he's got to drive this in here. And I think it'll be very difficult for him to get it up and over the wall. Come on. So he'll drive this. I think he'll just go for power. The lads in the wall have just got to make sure they stand firm. Oh, one, two, stand three, firm. Five, six, seven players in the Sunderland wall. Just stand firm. And the free kick. Wordsworth's going to drive this into the yes. netting above the stand. And get in. Get in, Sunderland won 2 1. Fantastic, six points, two. No, no, no. The referee has blown his whistle, but the assistant has run on here. Fuck off, assistant. Has it, has it, is it full time? I think it is. They're all shaking hands. What's going on? I think that is full time. Full time? Yes! <laughs> six points, two games, two fantastic results away from home. Well done, Sunderland. Well done, Jack Moss. Well done to the team. You've turned it around second half, you've come out with showed your dominance, your professionalism. That's what you've got to do. You've got to do from the beginning though. Don't leave it the second half. Come out, show the other side respect and play your football and you'll win every single match in this fucking league. Man of the match, Catamol. You know, he's just shown what he's all about today in regards of leadership. You know, he's, he was in there, he broke things up, and he was able to get himself forward, and he got himself two goals. Fantastic today. Hot Turk come on in the second half, and I've got to say, he's done a job. He's done a job. Testament to Ross the boss. Jack Ross is going to be a fantastic manager. Regardless of the future where he goes, he is going to be a name to watch out for. You know what it is, right? This is what I say. Honeymoon. Honeymoon is a captain, right? Captain Mall is like a fantastic vice captain. Catnam Hall is a brilliant, brilliant player. I made a video a few years ago, Catnam Hall was finished because he had an awful injury. I was at the match, we played Crystal Palace, we were 2-0 up against Palace in the Premier League. Right? Catnam Hall got a horrible, horrible, it was a thigh injury. It was a horrible injury, he got taken off. We lost that match 3-2 when he went off that pitch. He was out for a long time, he's come back. I heard he was finished, he would never come back, but he did, he came back, right? The testament to the blow, he's come back. But he came back, he hasn't been fit for a long time. He wasn't fit last season. I mean, you get an injury that almost ruins your career. You don't come back the same person. You don't, right? You can't play the same football as you used to play. The first season he came back, he wasn't playing the same football, the same intensity that he could play. It wasn't the same bloke, yeah? So it was a season and a half. This season is come back and a hundred percent of this bloke, man, this bloke, fucking, I know he's a Middlesbrough player, a Middlesbrough fan, he was, he's born Stockton, whatever it is, but he fucking loves Sunderland Football Club. He's proven himself. He loves Sunderland Football Club. And I tell you what, he's absolutely amazing. He's come back, he's worked hard in the pre-season. Jack Ross, you know, Jack Ross is a fantastic manager. He's brought in players. I mean, Oz Turk, he's had a couple of bad matches, but the day he's come in and he's, you know, in Hearts, when Oz Turk played for Hearts, they named a beer after him. That's how good they loved him. So he must be a good player. Everybody can have two or three bad games. He's got a set on the side. He's played better the day. Some good headers, clearance. You know, Oz Turk's come in, done a job the day. So go back to Catamol, right? Catamol, he must have proven to Jack Ross that he is the man to be in this side. Jack Ross has brought in a load of players, a load of players, but Catamol has stood out and he has proven in pre-season training, 
in the training, in the grounds throughout the week. He's proven he wants to be at this club. He must be doing really well in training to prove that he is the man to be in the centre of Max Power. And he's come on today, he's scored two goals. I'm absolutely fucking over the moon. He's scored two goals today. Captain Moore, you are class. It's like having two captains on this fucking pitch. Two captains. And with Catamol and Honeyman, we will fucking win this league. If we don't, we will still get promoted back to the championship. Catamol is a different level of football. He belongs in the championship. He may not belong in the Premier League now. He's still in his fucking 20s for fuck's sake, man. If he is truly over this injury, and I hope to God he never gets injured again, he will be a force to reckon with in this fucking league. He is absolutely fantastic. Happy fucking days. <sighs> Wimbledon won Sunderland 2. A fantastic turnaround for Sunderland Football Club. I give the fucking players the due. They've come out second half. They've turned the match around. They've played their own football. They were getting hammered in the first half. Never ever had a chance in the first half. Jack Ross has earned his corn. This manager is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic manager. Catamore's come out. Even though he's not a captain, for me, he is a fucking vice captain. A fantastic player. He's fit as fuck at this moment in time. I'm so happy for Lee Catamore. I fucking am. I want to give him a hug. What a fantastic match you've had, second half. You've come out, you've scored two goals, you've done everything possible. I know people have slated you off in the past saying it's time for you to leave, but you've proven you are a true professional. Absolutely true professional. You've come out, you've earned your corn, you've, st you've stuck with Southern Football Club. You've st a lot of players have left. A lot of players have fucking drained us of our money. Fucking Jack Rodwell. These fucking horrible players have drained us of our money. Pappy, fucking Pappy Jobs, yeah. Pappy Jobs, yeah. <laughs> The fuck's his name? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <coughs> and dong. And dingly dang dong. Fucking drain us of our fucking money. You know, these players, Rodwell and Dong. You know, they're, they're now put. <laughs> Dong, Rodwell, all these fucking players have drained us some the football club of money. The cat of all. He stood by us, stood by us, and he's fucking honest to God from the verges of being finished, finishes the football player, he's come back. He's, he must have done loads of fucking training, loads of fantastic fucking physiotherapy. He's getting back and he fucking loves Sun the Football Club and Lee Catamore. I fucking love you. I fucking salute you. What a fantastic performance today. You've done brilliant this season. You deserve those two goals. I'm so happy you've scored those two goals. I'm so happy you've turned this around. You are absolutely. There's only one fucking Lee Catamore. One Lee Catamore. Well done, Sunderland Football Club. Six points, two away games. You couldn't ask for anything else. And those fans down at Wimbledon must be so proud of their team. Going home today with another three points. I hope you all come home safe and sound. Absolutely brilliant. Again, if you like this kind of shite, subscribe, follow me channel, comment, give a like. And we will go places this season. I am so happy. I'll see you at the Oxford match. I'm at home at the Oxford match next season. Next, oh, oh my God. I've had too much of this. But I deserve it. It's been a great day. I'm going to have a few more celebratory drinks. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even fucking talk. I'm so happy. Get in.
I'm Lee Catamore, I'm the Lee Catamore, all you other Catamores are just in their team. So want the real Lee Catamore, please stand up, please stand up. It's look today. <sighs> this is a tribute to Lee Catamore. Please stand up, please stand up. I'm Lee Catamore, I'm the real Catamore, all you other Catamores are just in their team. So want the real Lee Catamore, stand up. Please stand up, please stand up. He stood up today, he stood up today, and he was counted, and well done Lee Catamore. You are absolutely fucking fantastic. Get in, well done Lee Catamore. Well done Sunderland Football Club. Well done the team for coming back today. And let's go on to the whole match again, Oxford. Three points against Oxford. Peter Burra are playing great football, Peter Burra. Five wins, 15 points. Well done, Peterborough Football Club. You deserve to be top. We are second, but we're coming for you. We're coming for you fast. And we're going to win this fucking league. Get in!